Welcome everyone to this Click Create Artist Spotlight. Today we have Victor Reyes. What words describe your artistic style? Um, my art comes out of uh, graffiti. Uh, in the 90s, when I was a kid, I, I saw some graffiti. I wasn't from an art family, and it really struck me. Like I, I lost time, I lost like awareness, and I was like locked in this in this trance. I mean, the the graffiti was really of of the highest caliber. It was a guy named Tyke from a graffiti crew that I would later get in called AWR, and so I just got caught in this thing, and I went home, and I remember telling my parents, I saw this thing today, and I don't know how to do it, but I'm gonna find out how to do it. And they were like, you know, this is 1993 their 20th century knowledge. They're like, artists star and live a horrible life. And I was like, no, no. I was like, in the future, everything is going to have to have some kind of visual identity. Like, And I just knew from seeing the thing, it just like communicated really directly to me, like what my destiny was. And so that was the style that I most gravitated towards. What inspires you to create? Uh, again, from, from like urban environments, although there is a big discourse that the natural environment, like nature, is the most inspirational. I think because of the type of language I'm speaking, it is like a collective consciousness, like biomass enterprise. Like I do well in San Francisco. Like San Francisco is a very inspiring place for me. Um, you can walk, you can bike ride, and you're like with the haves and the have not. It's this really like, it's either heaven or hell, really depending on where you're at and, and even what's, what side of the street you're on. It's like a zero, you know? It's like a Cartesian axis, kind of like you're right in the middle, and so you can kind of plot whichever direction you want to go. That, for me, is like, it's fi I, I found it to be the most inspirational. What are your goals as a digital artist? You know, I've been making work digitally for over probably like 15 years. The first job I ever had where I could actually transact for my art consistently was in doing, taking my illustrations and turning them into art files that could be sent to China and released on, on textiles. And, and I did pretty well with that and I freelanced and uh, it allowed me to do other things too, uh, like create a fine art studio. And I've been really lucky in that in that regard too. But um, I've been laying out my art with the computer forever, and I even went through a period of time where I like fought with myself about it. Like everything should be a la prima, but it's like you know, there's really no difference sketching on a piece of paper or sketching on an iPad. It's really just up to the individual. What, where I'm at is I see this as like it's probably the most interesting art movement since graffiti. But my goal is to learn how to program art because I, I think generative art, making a program or a script that is the artist to me is 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 so fascinating so i'm working on that i'm using chat gpt to you know learn how to make stuff and yeah i mean two years ago that wasn't a thing right and now and now the code has become approachable what advice can you offer to aspiring digital artists uh stay open you know, there's just so much change coming, right? Like a big discourse I see is people arguing whether or not AI art is real art you can go back to like the 1950s, be like, is contemporary painting, Jackson Pollock, real art? And it's like, these are these are moot conversations. So they just stay open. A lot of these dogmas are, are, are they're, they become completely transparent over time. You know, like I was late to get a cell phone maybe 20 years ago or something. There was someone texting me and I was like, oh, what? Now I have to text them back. And like, I spent time arguing with myself about these things. And it's like, now I'm spending like, I'm, I do 300 texts a day. Why waste the energy? I could have been working on a drawing, you know? The 21st century is not a good time to be like stuck in your ways. It's going to cause yourself maximum pain that way. It's, you definitely need to be open and just flow with what's happening. And, you know, I see, like, I see Claire Silva talking about people disparaging AI art, and it's like, what does it matter? It's just a it's just a bigger environment. That's all it is. I mean, if AI art, which it will become canonized, legitimate art, as that happens, that's just going to make art, like, the most ubiquitous thing in the human universe, which is good. That's good. That's what you want. What are you most proud of in your career as a digital artist? 
uh, the thing I am most proud of in my career is I am a free man. I don't make art that I'm supposed to make. I don't make art that is popular or politically or culturally relevant other than as I see it. I'm not insensitive to people's whole genre or movements. I just have my own thing and I'm my own person and I, I'm on my own wavelength or in my own lane and it works out for who it works out for. It's equitable and it's also like, you know, I can go do a free mural for a public school or I can do a project for a business to business to a big corporation and transact fairly and art has helped me develop as a human being and as like parent um, and I'm able to like raise my children in a healthy and good way and I'm pretty proud of that and I think I, I don't think I could have done any of those things if I was like captured by the art industry because it's an industry like any other industry now it's professionalized and there's do's and don'ts and there's cancelable and fireable offenses and I'm not too salacious but so it's a political game and, and I, I kind of do my own thing in art and I'm on the edges of things like I'm on the edge of digital art I'm on the edge of fine art I'm on the edge of street art and graffiti and I'm on the edge of all these things but I'm not solely defined by any one of them and, and that's what I'm most proud of is I just get to kind of be my own human.